What's going on guys? Let's talk about the question that has always been asked. What is the best cybersecurity certification in 2024? Well, let me tell you that there is no single certificate that's the winner. But today I will be guiding you on what to choose depending on the career path you want to take in this field. You see, in cybersecurity, you will be either working in the defensive domain, such as being a SOC analyst, offensive domain, such as being a penetration tester, the legal domain, such as auditing and compliance, or the management domain, such as being a chief security officer. All right, let's say you want to take the path that excites most people I ever knew, and that is the offensive security domain. Well, we will not talk about the prerequisites that you need, okay, because that's out of the scope of this video. Instead, we will dive right in. One of the most popular certificates for offensive security that I strongly advise, well, not only me, is the Offensive Security Certified Professional. The OSCP is designed to validate skills in ethical hacking and penetration testing. Unlike many certifications that rely heavily on multiple choice exams, the OSCP takes a practical, real-world approach. The OSCP exam requires candidates to compromise a series of machines in a time-constrained environment, making it one of the toughest but most rewarding certifications in the field. The exam spans 24 hours, during which candidates must exploit vulnerabilities on several machines in a simulated environment. Candidates must document the steps taken, explain the exploited vulnerabilities, and submit a detailed penetration testing report. You see, there are many reasons that make this certificate the go-to for many aspiring learners and also for HR managers when choosing candidates. The OSCP's hands-on approach ensures that candidates have the practical experience to handle real-world challenges. Employers highly value this as it demonstrates an ability to perform under pressure and solve complex problems. Additionally, the OSCP is globally recognized, making it a valuable asset for career advancement, especially in cybersecurity roles like penetration tester, security analyst, or vulnerability researcher. And this one is for those looking for its financial future. According to industry sources, salaries for OSCP certified professionals can range from $70,000 to $130,000, depending on experience and role. Okay, now that I convinced you to go and prepare for the OSCP, you might be asking me how to prepare. Well, that's a subject for another video, but I will leave you with the write-up link in the video description. You can visit the link and have a look at some of the preparation tips according to my experience. All right, now you might be wondering what if you want to follow the defensive domain in cybersecurity? What certificate to get as head start? Well, according to me and many others, you should think about taking the CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst Certificate. CISA Plus focuses on threat detection, response, blue teaming, and incident response. Moreover, CISA Plus emphasizes analytics-based approaches, such as detecting advanced persistent threats, which are crucial for protecting modern IT environments. And there are many job titles that this certificate prepares you for, such as Cybersecurity Analyst, Threat Intelligence Analyst, Incident Response Specialist, and Security Operations Center Analyst. Lastly, salary-wise, according to various industry reports, salaries for CSA Plus certified professionals typically range from $70,000 to $130,000 per year, depending on experience, location, and industry. Now there is this question, what if you are in IT and you want to move into cybersecurity? What is the ideal certificate? Or others may say that these certificates are good only if you have the prerequisite technical expertise or if you are moving from IT into cybersecurity. But what if you are moving newly into this field and you want something lighter to start with, what you should do? There is always an answer to every question. That's why you can start either with CompTIA Security Plus or GIAC Security Essentials. GIAC Security Essentials is perfect for IT professionals looking to move into cybersecurity with a focus on active defense, cryptography, and incident response. CompTIA Security Plus is a foundational certification for those starting in cybersecurity. It covers network security, cryptography, identity management, and compliance. After you get certified, you can then climb up the ladder and choose OSCP or CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst. All right, so you have accumulated years of experience and you want to move into the management domain. Well, it's not that easy, but certifications can make shortcuts for you. Certified Information Systems Security Professional is ideal for experienced professionals in roles like security managers or chief security officers. 
It covers areas such as risk management, network security, and software development security. CISSP is often a requirement for senior level positions in cybersecurity, roles such as Chief Information Security Officer, Security Architect, and Security Manager frequently list CISSP as a prerequisite. This certification is a powerful tool for advancing into leadership and managerial positions. Professionals holding the CISSP certification often command higher salaries than their non-certified peers. The average salary for a CISSP holder ranges from $80,000 to over $200,000, depending on location, experience, and role. Well, I bet you know, being CISP certified is not only a matter of passing the exam, but you have to prove that hold the required work experience. To qualify for the CISSP exam, candidates must have a minimum of five years of cumulative paid work experience in two or more of the eight CSSP CBK domains. Those who pass the exam without the required experience can earn the Associate of ISC2 designation and have up to six years to gain the necessary experience. The CISSP exam is a comprehensive assessment consisting of 100, 150 questions and is conducted via computerized adaptive testing. Candidates have three hours to complete the exam. Well, CISSP is not the only option out there. We also have CISM, which is a certification is tailored for individuals who manage, design, oversee and assess an enterprise's information security strategies. The certification is ideal for IT professionals who want to transition into roles where they oversee security policies and governance rather than solely performing hands-on tasks like system security maintenance. CISM covers information security governance, information risk management, information security program development and management, and lastly, information security incident management. Professionals with a CISM certification are positioned to take on higher level roles in cybersecurity management, such as information security manager, chief information security officer, or IT security manager. All right, let's talk about money here, shall we? According to industry surveys, the average salary for a CISM certified professional ranges from $110,000 to over $150,000, depending on the role and experience level. Similar to CSP, to qualify for the CISM certification, candidates must have at least five years of work experience in information security management. Oh yeah, that's in addition to passing its difficult exam. The CISM exam consists of 150 multiple choice questions and covers the four domains mentioned earlier. Candidates have four hours to complete the exam and they must achieve a score of at least 450 out of 800 to pass. Okay guys, that's my take on the best cybersecurity certifications in 2024. I tried to give you the certifications according to what domain you are planning to get into. Otherwise, there are many certifications that we can't fit into this video. Don't worry, in the next upcoming videos, we will be talking about each certificate in detail, such as how to prepare for the exam, best resources for studying, and many more. Alrighty then, I will see you in the next video. Cheers.